Hey Cryptozoic folk, we just got in all of the games from Walking Dead No Sanctuary. So here's our base games, our two expansions, and a lot of boxes for add-ons, stretch goals, and everything like that. So I'm going to kind of break these down one by one, show you everything that we got in little short videos that we'll all stitch together hopefully in the end. And enjoy! Alright, so first things first obviously is the big box, the one that everyone's really excited for, everyone gets. It's the Kickstarter Deluxe Edition. Let's open her up and I want to show you some of the cool stuff. Trays, everything like that. So, here's the box. Here is the rules. You've got two tokens. Ooh. And full-size boards, double-sided. That you lay out in your four by, two by two, sorry. Square, extra ones for more. Flip them for what you need them to be. A whole pack of all your character cards in a nice sticky fold piece. We've got Andrea, Rick, Daryl, everyone you expect to see. Uh, our strangers. We have our boards. How was? Hey, it doesn't look like someone like me. Kind of fun. Um, so we've got those. We've got our extra boards. But the things that I'm really excited for to show you are some of the trays. So a big leader token and our tray. So first things first is our card tray. We have a full card tray that is a little bit different than anyone might expect to see. So it's very easy to find your decks when you're setting up your character. If you want to play as Dale, there he is. Slide it back in. And yes, it fits sleeved cards. Um, also, when you set up a scenario, the uh, scenario tells you which card decks to build your survivor decks from. Not survivor deck, I apologize. Uh, your leader deck. So here is one of them. This is the no escape one. But they all fit in here too, so you can easily find them and uh, separate them out later. The dice have great debossed images up there. All the ones you need. Roll them on out. Uh, I could have done better. That's an exert, an exert, a fear. Yeah, that could have been a bad one. Um, plus, there's a whole side here for any extra stuff you want to maybe put in here, including the mini cards. Again, sleeve fits. We're not here for cars, we're here for miniatures. So, there is one, two, three trays of miniatures. And if you notice here on the bottom tray of miniatures, I start popping these out, which we haven't done yet for you guys. Everything will fit all down here in that bottom tray of miniatures from these two sheets of tokens. Um, so, as you can see, we have on the top tray, which is really nice, a stick into everything, uh, a cover tray, including your, and this box includes the exclusive Daryl Ride, uh, and everyone else you expect to play in from the eight characters on the box front, uh, walkers, uh, outlaws, the whole shebang. So, that's everything that you expect to see in the main box. Now, earlier, I showed you some white boxes. Uh, that are from add-ons, stretch goals, and the like. I'm going to grab one real quick so you, I can show you something from it. We'll go into these more deeper, but what's great about these is if you don't like the white boxes that they came in, they still fit inside this box as well. So if you only got one add-on or two add-ons or three add-ons, you can put this all back together like this and then some of the extra space that was taken up by these tokens that you're going to be tossing away the extra chipboard for, you could use for some of your add-ons. Now, if you put three or four add-ons on, your box will still fit together, but it will look somewhat like this, but it still all works. All right, I'm going to move on to some of the other ones, but this is the big one. All right, so in this box, what lies ahead is pretty much season two of The Walking Dead. It comes with characters that you expect to find on the farm, such as Maggie and her father, Herschel. We have a few more scenarios that have popped up, which have all your tracking information there. The extra rules sheets. Their player cards. Four new boards for four new setups, including the barn, the homestead, the highway. Doesn't look like you want the highway to go through there, so why don't we do it that way? That probably is more like the setup. Uh, and another full back tray with two places for cards, uh, fire tokens uh, for your fire walkers, which are one of the great things that come in this little set. So I'm going to show you this one up here. All right, so one thing you'll notice right now is we have black bases on these. 
That doesn't mean we have black bases in the final. This is one of our first proof copies. We're really happy with about everything in here. One of the things that we're pointing out to the factory, no black bases. We don't want black bases. They won't be black bases. I promise. They'll all be the same color plastic. So another thing that's really nice to know is these are uh, really tight fitting. They easily pull in and out. There's always going to be space for your tokens, all of your decks. If you want to change how you store the decks inside there, you can change it so you're storing just the survivors or the event deck. I said, did I say, I didn't say event deck earlier. I said location deck or something like that. That's wrong. It's the event deck. It's on the freaking cars. All right, so everything still fits back in. Very easy to put it all away. And of course, all your characters there. Full size boards. And ta-da. All right, another expansion that comes with some of your pledges is going to be the Killer Within expansion, which is season three. Uh, has 24 miniatures in here, including some of their favorites, such as the Prisoner Walker and the uh, Riot Gear Walker, I believe. Yeah, we have the right gear walker in this one. Makes sense, right? Again, this is going to be the same layout as the other expansion. Um, we have a rule sheet. We have four tiles, including the prison, which has some really cool stuff there. And outside the prison, where we're farming. So here's a whole nice layout for that. Um, again, a couple more scenarios. We have, I think, four scenarios in this one. Yeah, four scenarios. And a nice tray, just like we saw in the other one where we have all of our figures very nicely packed. We have a topper on this one too, so they're not gonna slide around. If you need to store your boxes vertically, you totally can. Um, and we have all of our reference cards too, so if you need to take a closer look at what your Riot Gear Walker does, there's a reference card there. And where is a Riot Gear Walker? I wanna show him to you up close. Someone else, obviously, you want to see closer. Michonne. Again, everything fits back here. All of the boxes are the same size, so if you need to put some more of these uh, add-ons into another box to help line it all up, you can fit them here, and they still kind of close up, so it still is a good look. Oh, I didn't do that with these. Let me show you that it actually works with these, too. Put the whole thing in there. So if you need to put some of your uh, stuff together in some of the other boxes so you have nicer shelf space. I have nice shelves too, I understand. It still closes up. All right, so now we're into the add-ons. And the first add-on that I'm gonna go ahead and show you is Better Angels. This is the one that I was showing you in some of the other sections of this video where you can see that it all fits inside the bigger boxes. Better Angels, if you remember, is the episode title where someone goes a little blockerish in season two. Yeah, that's right, this is when Shane turns. I want to take a closer look at his walker. It is really cool. All right, so if you're aware from the campaign page, what does that mean for the game? It means PvP. This is a 1v1 scenario laid out on this smaller board where someone is playing Shane, someone is playing Rick. Rick has to kill Shane twice because he turns into a walker right off the bat. And when he's a walker, that player gets to use some more walkers on the board and control them a little bit more. So this one comes with the whole deck for Better Angels uh, cards for both Rick and for Shane, because their decks play a little bit differently in this. And also their rival card for Walker Shane, that is a two-sider thing. Now, you know what that means? Rival card is what it means when you play against the computer or the AI. You can play this PvP as PvE as well. You can play this as a one-player campaign. So enjoy it either way. Do you remember where it all began? I do. Days gone by. This add-on gives you Rick in a hospital gown, which is where he started off the entire journey around the world of Walking Dead. So as you can tell, he's an awesome detailed figure. Comes with a new wounded Rick survivor deck that plays very differently and works with a completely new scenario, new event uh, deck that can be played one to three players. One player, you're playing Rick. Two player, add Morgan in. Three player, you have walkers controlled by another player. All of it's detailed on the sheet that comes with this, with four new tiles that show the world of his hometown. And of course, every tile is double-sided, so you can do some homebrew with it. You can put it in some other scenarios. Have fun. All right, so another add-on that we added to this game during the campaign was one for a couple new scenarios clear and walk with me. Walk with me is a two-player scenario where Michonne and Andrea go around 
woods trying to find a crashed helicopter. This works with everything from the stretch goals, so you have Michonne's pets that you can add into this one, but this one's truly a two-player scenario. The next one is a three-player scenario, where Rick and his son return to their hometown with Michonne and find Morgan. He's a little bit worse for wear. Clear is when you find him, it's barricade, and he's a little hostile towards your character. Um, you work through this deck. I got these all weird. I got the event cards in this deck. Nah, that's not true. Trust me, you don't shuffle them that way. But there, he can either be clear or hostile towards you during your attempt to talk him down in that campaign. Now, this tile works with the other tiles inside the board and works to create a full two by two map, just like you expect to see. Oh, I almost forgot. This one also comes with a sheet to play as Merle as a rival. So when you're playing this scenario, Merle is out to get you as Michonne and Andrea. So inside every campaign that you play, every scenario, you're gonna have ammo, food, and barriers. Inside the base game, they're tokens. They're great, they work, but why not upgrade them with the stuff and things? Of course, stuff and things has your really, really, really cool barriers. Uh, they really work well with Morgan's uh, scenarios. And some easy to use ammo and food. So we've got everything that you'll need for the entire game to fill your whole world with ammo, food, and burials. I'm gonna give you a closer look at this one. And hopefully you can see these as well. Again, everything still comes in a nice back tray so you can use that to store everything back up. They all work together with all the boxes. All right, so I saved the best for last. This is the stretch goal box. You guys unlocked so many stretch goals that we couldn't fit it in the same box without causing massive shipping problems. All right, so here is all of the stuff. We got cards for all of your unlock people, such as Sasha. We got how many new scenarios? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six new scenarios. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight totally new tiles, double-sided of course, some interior, some exterior, a lot of it's that sort of stuff. The other cool thing about this is this has the PvP arena for um, all of your uh, fighting each other needs for Woodbury, Woodbury Arena. Uh, and also, you love the game, you love everything like that, but you love the miniatures too, so let's go look ahead like that. Again, another tray on the top, so if you like to store a vertical, it's all gonna fit there. The piece de resistance, the uh, RV. Now, if you notice, there are some missing mirrors and uh, umbrella on the top. That's because we put them all off of the side. We didn't want them to break inside of transit. Put that back in there. And then some of my favorite ones, we got our crawler walker. Back's awesome. Look at that, it just ripped apart. Spirit Lori. And her rules as well. Two Michonne's of Michonne's pets. And I think my favorite piece, the well walker. It's freaking gross. I love it. All waterlogged, spines all cracked. It's great. Thank you so much for joining me today as I broke down most of the add-ons, the stretch goals two expansions, and the base game of Walking Dead No Sanctuary. Shouldn't be too much longer until we start getting these things to you, and I can't wait to see what you do with painting it, playing it, homebrewing, everything. It's going to be a blast when you get this. It's going to be a great game, and I can't wait to see what you do. Have a great day.